So good afternoon and welcome to those of you who've just joined us. Welcome to this webinar uh, from CC and Morrisby on using Compass Plus and Morrisby together. This session is being recorded today. So if you do have colleagues that are arriving uh, a little late, just after the session has started, don't worry. Everybody who is registered for the session today will be sent a recording after the event. Okay, so if there's anything you want to catch up on, don't worry, the recording will be sent to you and you can watch the recording at your leisure. So just to start off uh, by introducing myself, uh, my name's Struan. I'm a, a Compass Plus consultant here at CEC, working across our digital products, but mostly on, uh, uh, on Compass Plus. And with me today, I've got Alan from Morrissey and uh, uh, from Morrisby and Kelly from Bower Park Academy, and also my colleague Nicola from CEC. I just let them introduce themselves just to make sure that their cameras and microphones are working okay. So, hi, Alan. Hi, Stu, and uh, I'm Alan Tees. So I'm the head of sales and products at uh, Morrisby. Thanks, Alan. Hi, Kelly. Hi there. I'm Kelly Porter. I'm the careers lead at a school in um, Rockford, which is in the London Borough of Havering, Bower Park Academy. Um, and I've been using both Compass Plus and Morrisby, so I'm just here to kind of give my view and answer any questions. Brilliant, and thanks for joining us today, Kelly. Uh, and hi, Nicola. Hi, Nicola. I'm Nicola Harrison, and I'm the Customer Operations Manager at CEC. Okay. Thanks, Nicola. So just to run through what we're going to cover in the next 55 minutes or so. So we've got some learning outcomes, just a couple of those that we want to uh, cover today in the session and then we're going to move into the bulk of the session where we're going to talk about uh, talk really at the, con the concept of how we recommend that you use Compass Plus and Morrisby together the way that you integrate those two platforms and use the data together. We've also then got a video to show you which goes into a little bit more detail um, from a practical point of view show you show you how you go about downloading the data from Morrisby and uploading to Compass Plus. Then we're going to move on uh, to a short chat, which uh, Alan's going to chair with Kelly, uh, where Kelly, as she says, uh, as she said, is a, is a user of both products. And Kelly's going to uh, talk a little bit more about how she gets the most from Compass Plus and Morrisby. Uh, we'll then make sure we leave enough time to cover any questions that you have. What I would say is if you do have any questions throughout the session, as they occur to you, please feel free to pop those in the Q&A box or in the chat. Um, if those are questions that can be, can be answered easily and quickly, um, uh, certainly for, from the, uh, the, the Compass Plus side, Nicola will be able to pop some, pop some links in there, but we'll make sure that any other questions about Morrisby or Compass Plus that Alan and I will be able to answer towards the end of the session. And then finally, we want you to go away uh, with some uh, with understanding where you can find more uh, support and training for the products. So just a couple of learning outcomes then. We want you obviously to go away with a better understanding about how uh, to, uh, to combine your use of Compass Plus and Morrisby together, not just in terms of the way that you transfer data between the products, but also really in the way that you use the products effectively and you integrate those, the products together in your careers programs. Finally, as I say, we'll come to the end. We want you to uh, understand where to go away and find help and support if you need it. Okay, so let's move on to how we, uh, we should use uh, the products together. So the guiding principle of it, or the, the, the overarching principle, um, I would describe as a, 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 a cyclical and that we want you to move through a continuous cycle of strategically uh, directing your provision and reviewing your, your performance in Compass Plus. And then for those of you who are using Morrisby to principally deliver your careers program, that you're using Morrisby as a, as a tactical tool for creating those activities, recording those activities and delivering them. So we want you to be planning against the Gatsby, Gatsby benchmarks, looking strategically within Compass Plus by taking Compass evaluations about uh, where you've got gaps, how you're progressing against the Gatsby benchmarks, and thinking about how you might go about 
um, for, uh, meeting those gaps and, provide, and uh, providing those activities for your pupils, for cohorts, for your individuals using, uh, using Morrisby on a day-to-day -day basis. So how do we break that down further? Um, well, we would recommend that you follow, you follow a three-step plan. So most of you should be taking compass evaluations. Ideally, we recommend that you, you take one at the start of the year and you're completing one uh, uh, every term. Obviously, if you're planning at the start of the year, that's when you should be thinking ahead, taking the evaluation and drilling down further to look, as I say, where you are meeting uh, Gatsby benchmarks and where you have criteria to meet. And secondly, then step two is that once you've identified those gaps, you're using Morris B, uh, a Morris B tactically to manage those activities. And thirdly, that you should be checking your progress every half term in Compass Plus. So step one then in more detail, how do we go about reviewing where we are in our plan? So you've taken a Compass evaluation, uh, you've seen some scores come up on your, uh, your uh, Compass Plus dashboard, you want to drill down further, how do you do that? Well, we recommend that you go to your, uh, your, your My Evaluation section, you drill down on the left of the screen, you should see your most recent uh, completed Compass Evaluations. That'll take you through each of the benchmarks, Gatsby benchmarks one to eight, and you can see by the green tick uh, where you are meeting each of the individual criteria, and you can see through the, uh, the black cross there which of the criteria you've yet to meet. So you should be able to quickly and easily see why in this instance, uh, benchmark three in this example, around 63%, we can see that some of those, some of the criteria we're meeting, others we're yet to, uh, we're yet to meet, okay? Those of you who've already started using the Future Skills Questionnaire, and you may have attended a planning webinar on the Future Skills Questionnaire uh, delivered by me or my, one of my colleagues recently, that's a really great tool for considering the student voice and thinking about um, what students themselves are saying about uh, their careers programs. So you can use that data intelligence in tandem with your campus evaluation results to think about how you go about meeting the gaps and planning for your pupils. Um, secondly, uh, once you've taken a campus evaluation, we suggest if you have been using Compass Plus for a while, at least since the previous academic year, you can certainly save time by copying across your last year's plan in Compass Plus. So if you copy across your plan from Compass Plus, for, uh, sorry, from the previous academic year, it will copy all the activities you, uh, you created for the academic year, but it won't have the students attached to them. So obviously it's a new academic year, it will be different students taking the activities. So you'll have to, um, you'll have to uh, attach the different students, the new students to those activities, but you can trim and adjust the plan. So based on, based on the results of your, uh, of your evaluation and any future skills, uh, future skills work that you've done. Obviously you'll then need to be thinking about how you, uh, how you'll go about your plan, set about your planning in Morrisby. And Alan's gonna talk a little bit more about that shortly. So as I say, you move on, Having taken your evaluation, you're building up your plan in Compass Plus. Um, so possibly these are activities uh, that you may have brought across from Compass Plus. You may want to replace most of these, but some of them, I'd say, if they've worked well last year, may be worth keeping in your plan. Now, one key part of the, of the uh, as I described it, the cyclical, the cycle of continually reviewing your plan in Compass Plus and delivering your plan tactically in Morrisby is, is using a, a particular tool in Compass Plus, and that's the ability to view the potential impact of your activities on your Gatsby, ben on your Gatsby benchmark scores. So this is a really useful way, as we see when we come to uh, showing you how you import your data from Morrisby, to seeing what the effect of those activities, uh, whether they're planned or completed, is likely to be on your evaluation results at the end of the academic year. Okay, so those of you who are well familiar with the Compass Plus dashboard, you'll see at the top of the screen you have your um, you have your benchmark bar charts here showing you your progress. 
The first one here allows us to review our progress against older evaluations. The second one here, if you haven't used it already, please go in and have a go because it's, it, it's a very, very useful planning tool. It allows you to see what the projected impact of your activities will be. Okay, and we'll talk a little bit more about that short, shortly. And so what we recommend then is that you're continually moving through, moving through your plan, reviewing your planning compass plus throughout the year, delivering your activities, uh, so say through Morris B, if you're using both, uh, both products together, and that you are reviewing your progress regularly by uh, importing the uh, data from Morris B, but also regularly taking compass evaluations. Okay, so I'm now gonna hand over to Alan, who's going to talk a little bit more about how you go about creating your activities in Morris B and uh, managing the rest of your activity in the Morris B platform. Thank you, Struan. So, so at this point, you've um, done an evaluation in Compass Plus and you've uh, put a plan together. So over in Morrisby, uh, this is all under the heading of tracker in our system. And uh, you'll find a number of things here. And the main one is obviously creating activities to then match what you're planning to do, activities that then the students can see and take part in. So on the screen at the moment, you're looking at our uh, student activity creation wizard. It's quite flexible. You've got lots of different types of activities you can categorize, um, spread them over weeks. Uh, you can even decide how much uh, Gatsby benchmark uh, is accredited against the activity. And then on the right, you can see how do I know when that activity is done? Lots of different ways of doing that. Do you want to record attendance? Do you want students to certify they've done it? Maybe it's a careers assembly and you're just going to auto do it. And there's also some properties of uh, an activity. Uh, again, Stuart mentioned student voice. So each activity can have a feedback loop um, that the students can uh, complete. And they can also then be asked to do an action plan as a result of that activity. So that's the kind of basic creation. The next part, Stuart, if you want to move to the next slide, please, uh, is, <coughs> is looking at uh, adding benchmarks to that activity. And what you'll find in Morrisby, you've actually got the whole of the Compass Plus vocabulary uh, under these uh, different uh, boxes. And so you can sort of match it up uh, exactly uh, into Compass Plus. Uh, you've also got a similar thing with skills. Uh, you'll find skills builder. And in the video, we'll show you in a bit. You'll kind of see a bit more about me doing one of these uh, as we go through. Of course, then you're going to assign students to this. Um, and like Compass Plus, typically Morrisby will be linked to your uh, management information system. Uh, so these students will also have UPNs and details associated with them. And in this case, um, like in Compass Plus, you can assign groups or year groups or, or particular interest groups. OK, if you want to move to the third slide, Struan. And then, of course, at this point, we've done the activity. The students have completed it um, and either one at a time or multiples. You can then export uh, the data, the activity data. Uh, for Compass Plus, which will generate a CSV uh, format file you can then import. Uh, and then Struan will explain a bit more how we do that in a bit. Over to you, Struan. i mute myself. Um, so, yeah, so just before we come to looking at uh, how we go about doing that, the, the, the data upload section, just to um, reiterate, really, that um, uh, we recommend that we update your plan in Compass Plus every half term uh, by exporting uh, your data from, from Morrisby, where you're tactically uh, delivering your careers activities for your pupils, um, so that uh, that data will flow into the, uh, the Compass Plus system. You'll be able to see those activities in your plan, and you'll also be able to see those activities, obviously, in the, the individual uh, pupil profile. So on the screen here, You've got, um, you, you've got the upload screen here in, in Compass Plus, uh, where we selected the CSV file. Um, we're gonna come to that in a second. Um, just to, again, reiterate, once you've updated that, that, uh, that data, once that you've imported that data from Morris B into Compass Plus, if you then use the, predi uh, the, the predicted um, benchmark score uh, tool, within your dashboard in Compass Plus, that will be able to show you each time uh, uh, yeah, as a method of checking your progress, what your uh, evaluation results, um, so what your benchmark scores uh, are likely to be. 
uh, when you come to the end of the, uh, the academic year. And again, as it says on the right hand side here, don't, don't forget to complete uh, a compass evaluation uh, each turn. Um, so that's the side that we saw at the beginning. Uh, again, just to, just to summarize really, that uh, we would recommend that the way that you, the, uh, the best way to use both products together is that you, you try and move towards this, this cyclical three-part uh, three process of planning ahead, uh, managing your activities tactically uh, throughout the academic year in, in Morris Bay, checking your progress uh, via the data upload and you know, tweaking and improving your careers program throughout the year. Okay, so from a practical point of, point of view then, when it comes to transferring the data across from Morris B to Compass Plus, how do we go about doing that? So Alan and I have put together this short video. Um, it lasts about uh, six minutes or so, maybe, maybe slightly longer. The first part, Alan will explain how you practically go about uh, creating those activities and creating that CSV file for Compass Plus. And then the last section is uh, me explaining how you take that file and upload it into Compass Plus, and how the data then uh, appears in your, in your plan. So I'm just gonna kick this video off now. So it lasts about six, uh, six minutes, maybe, maybe slightly longer. Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to create and record careers interactions and activities and then upload them to Compass Plus. We do all this in Morrisby in the tracker part. Uh, so we'll go to tracker on the main menu. And here you'll see all the activities that are in our system. You'll notice that there are uh, a bunch of ready made activities complete with resources and uh, presentations and uh, lesson plans. And you can also create your own using the create activity wizard. All of these activities can be added into a careers plan and we can download the plan um, as a document uh, which looks like this. And this includes things like um, summaries of programs, entitlement statements and an overall map of all the careers activities uh, that you're taking part in. So back to the tracker part, I'm going to create a new activity. So I'll start the wizard. Here we give the uh, topic a title, a description and a type. This particular activity will be optional for my students, so I can decide which students in which year groups can have visibility of that particular activity. I'm also going to include it in my careers plan for my year 13s uh, in the uh, autumn term. Moving on with the wizard, uh, we can now decide when this activity is finished. Uh, I'm going to get the students to certify that they've completed this, but there's a variety of other ways of doing it. Um, and I'm going to ask the student for some feedback once they've done it because there is a feedback loop uh, within the overall system. Next, I'm going to add the specific resources for this activity. In this particular one, I'm just going to add the URL for the MOOC that the students are going to be taking. And finally, I'm going to add a picture uh, just to make it more interesting and uh, visually appealing for the students. Next, I can assign Gatsby benchmarks to this particular activity, and you'll notice we have the full uh, Compass Plus vocabulary in here. So in this particular one, we're looking at um, uh, <coughs> ready for work activities with employers with this particular LinkedIn MOOC. You can also add skills. We have the complete skills builder framework in here, including all the different levels. And finally, we'll then uh, save this activity and assign it to students. And we can assign it to an individual student or more likely in this particular case because it's optional we're going to assign it to the year 13 group and i can either invite them automatically or they can just see it as an activity that they can um, select in their feed i'm going to invite them all so that's the process of creating an activity let's just look at the student experience here is max he's one of the students in this particular class and you can see his activity feed down here. Now you'll notice he's got two or three activities that he's been asked to provide feedback on. So I'm just going to do that first. So we had a little workshop with Duncan Bannatyne. I thought it was fab. And we can send this feedback in on this activity. Activities can include forms. So for example, here's a destinations activity complete with a form that's embedded in. 
And here's the activity we made a bit earlier on, on LinkedIn and that we then registered that particular student for uh, in advance. Students can also log their own activities, uh, for example, any work experience they've done or volunteering, uh, and they have a simple form to do that. And they can also add uh, evidence, photos, certificates, those sorts of things, as well as identifying the skills that they've taken part in. Now let's see at the manager side what we do next. So here are activities. As you can see, any feedback will show up in the star ratings down here. And as an example of the sort of feedback that you can then get and then generate a, a document, here's an example uh, with all the different student feedback uh, automatically created onto a single page, ideal for um, quality and careers type evidence or offset. Before we upload the activity uh, data to Compass Plus, let's just first see the kind of information that you can see uh, in the Morrisby system. So here's our student Max that was uh, taking that activity. And if we could see uh, on his uh, individual profile, uh, as well as the careers he's interested in and the subjects, we can see a timeline of all the activities he's taken part in. Also at the student end, we have a dedicated uh, tab for looking at uh, our provision against the Gatsby benchmarks. So this is completed activity. Um, and as you can see in this particular school, uh, we're obviously very weak on curriculum learning. Now to export the data to Compass, we simply go to the activity we want to export or we could do them all in one go. Uh, we select it, assign and review the students uh, button. So at this point we can mark the activity as complete and we can also then export the data for Compass Plus, which will then produce the spreadsheet that can then import to Compass. To upload your Morrisby data to Compass Plus, click on Plans, Your Plans on the Compass Plus navigation bar. Click on the Upload icon, the up arrow, in the Actions column. A dialog box will pop up. Click on Select File and find the CSV file you downloaded from Morrisby. Confirm your file selection and you'll see a message confirming that your data upload has been successful. You will then see the activities logged in Morrisby appear on the Activities tab of a pupil's individual Compass Plus profile. Okay, just. Uh... Again, just to uh, reiterate what I said at the start of the session, obviously if there's anything you wanted to go over, go over there. So the recording will be sent to you. So you've got that, uh, you've got that video there showing exactly how you go about doing the, the export and the upload. Also, Nicola's going to post in the chat to, um, a, a link to an article in the Compass Plus Help Center, uh, which explains exactly how to, to do that uh, export and upload um, from Morris Beta Compass Plus takes you through step by step and you can access that article at any time from within Compass Plus. Okay, so we're going to move on to our section where uh, we talk to uh, Kelly from Bower Park Academy uh, about using both products together. And thank you very much for, um, for coming along today, Kelly. I'm just gonna hand over now to Alan, who's going to, uh, to chair this part. So over to you, Alan. Uh, thank you, Stuart, and thank you, Kelly, for taking part. Um, so, Kelly, we we first probably uh, virtually met, I think, June, July last year, uh, and you were just about to um, want to uh, create your initial careers plan. So um, uh, how was that experience for you? Um, so, obviously, the careers plan kind of existed, uh, but it was all in bits, um, and I found that we had spreadsheets everywhere and there wasn't really a central place where we was recording everything um, at work. So when I was being asked to go to my line manager, I was looking for documents, trying to find everything. And I was looking for a way to kind of put everything in a central place um, that would then um, be both um, myself facing, because although, um, you know, Compass Plus is really useful for the careers leads to, to be on top of things, 
and the report is really good to be shared with senior leadership. Um, it's it's really good to be able to have other teachers involved in uploading events and also for other teachers to be involved in being able to see what other students have done and particularly something that's student facing. So I was looking for something that was going to be able to help me with that. Um, so obviously we met in the July, uh, June time, and then I did like a retrospective kind of careers plan of what I'd done the, the, the previous year. So um, I was I was fortunate that I had quite a lot of year 11s last year. And so in my year 11 sort of game time, um, I sat down and I um, I kind of uploaded retrospectively all of our sort of activities and, and logged our students um, from the various bits and bobs that I had. Um, and then, um, you know, tentatively tried to upload it to the Compass Plus site uh, with like one at a time, then tried two at a time. And then I went straight in and uploaded 51 activities in one hog and it all uploaded perfectly um, to Compass Plus um, and logged all of those activities against obviously all the benchmarks with all the students and then logged all that in, which was wonderful. And um, because it then meant that the students were able to see them with student facing on the Morris feed, but on the Compass Plus um, side of things, it was logged as well. And it wasn't kind of, it, it, it was as quick as it is in that video. It's the exporting of the, um, Excel document and then the uploading and then it's in both places um, so for me it was it was really quick and easy um, I was worried that it wasn't you know I'd left because I'd done so many activities at once it wasn't going to upload but it did and obviously my plan is this year to do it as I go along so yeah yeah no very good um, <laughs> well uh, we were both um, yes we were both very pleasantly surprised weren't we uh, Kelly when we, we did that so kind of moving forward, you know, uh, Struan was talking about the sort of cyclical nature. Is that how you're going to use the two products together? Uh, how's it going to work this year? Yeah, I think so. So um, obviously we've got the careers plan from last year on my Compass Plus already. So that can be um, moves over. I do really like, um, uh, you know, kind of the visual of Morris Feed that the students can see as well. So um, I am still moving it. I'm doing Morris Feed, moving it over to Compass Plus and then doing another evaluation on the Compass Plus and then kind of looking where I then have gaps. So I am using them simultaneously. Um, I think that it's it's really useful for for, um, for you to use both products, you know, together. Um, but yes, I'm going to be I'm going to be using it it much more retros it much less retrospectively now so kind of doing yeah. two half terms amount of um activities on morris b and then uploading them again to um compass plus and kind of then recycling and seeing where what, what what other areas i've got that are weaker that might need addressing um for our students and, and you mentioned your students a, a couple of times i mean how are they embracing sort of digital tools uh you know from a careers perspective so i think it's um the same as it is with um anything new that you introduce that requires you know um logging in and, and, and passwords. So um, we are using it as a whole school. So uh, there is some, we, we're using some activities um, during form time, but we um, we set the um, aspirations quiz as homework for all the students. So for them to be able to obviously start using the Morrisby process at home, they have to do that. Um, and um, as you showed sort of on your screen, students can have a, a high level of engagement so they can like courses, like, um, careers and they can complete certain activities themselves and log activities themselves so i've seen you know we've obviously really only launched it in september and obviously we're still only in november but i have got um students from all year groups um who have either um you know dipped their toe in or are now fully engaged so there's also like an action plan uh, section where some of the students have, have started to log their own actions about the the college open days that they want to attend to and then in sort of ticking those off and I think the big thing for me um we do have a um trust careers advisor but I'm close I submitted my final assignment yesterday to get my level six and so I've been doing some career interviews with our students and where they do the um they do the the, the it, it gives you the student passport and also the advisor report and the student report having those in preparation for when i'm meeting my students as i've been doing my sort of careers advice and guidance sessions um has been really useful but actually being able to share those with sort of our heads of year and our support mm -hmm. guidance um sessions it's been able to sort of start conversations with um students who have been disengaged in school and um, to sort of look at what they've, they've expressed their interest as, what it is that they want to do. Um, and I think that's been really useful from a sort of student facing point of view for them to sort of let you know um, without having to sit down and have that careers interview. It's very quick and you yeah. can filter as well. So you can kind of look down and see um, students who have 
like particular careers or like particular interests. So then when you've got a trip or an event that's going on, um, you can almost sort of filter that down and narrow that down for the students. So that's been really um, beneficial for us. Um, and because you can then, as you, as you showed, you can have students sign up for events. So if it's like a, there's only a certain, we had a university trip on Friday for year 10s. So that was kind of like a voluntary sample. Um, and I sent messages home to students as well to say, like, first come, first serve, log on to Morrissey. And it was nice to see a lot of students did log on to, you know, request their space on that trip and then have since used the feedback um, the feedback sector we do need to on that it's all brand new so um you know i had um year 11 college transfer evening at the start of the year all, all year 11s were asked to feedback very few have uh, because that's been a, in their own time um so i do think i do think i've got a lot to progress with with that and getting used yeah. to it that that feedback yeah. is getting really useful particularly you know i'm meeting with senior leadership um later in the week and to be able to get from the university trip a print out with just a, you know, what the students thought with the rating and what went well, what they enjoyed, what they've learned, what they think could be better. Um, in terms of intent and impact and things like that, it's it's going to be really useful for um, justifying trips, justifying yeah. Um, yeah. leadership and and when Ofsted, if Ofsted come in as to, you know, what our plan is doing and, and what the intent and impact is. And you mentioned one of the things that you've um, managed to do is, if you like, um, get other staff involved. I mean, how, how did you... You know, how did you achieve that? Because uh, it, it seems to be hard yards in lots of schools. It is, and it is, it is difficult. But obviously, you can give staff different um, access. So you can give them access to just certain students and certain groups. So um, even in external careers advisor, so our careers advisor is able to upload her notes onto the system so that the student can see their careers guidance notes. Um, but also, if um, as the, We've got an external careers advisor as well with their, for our uh, children who are most at risk at me. So I can lock it so that it's, she only has access to those students. Okay. Um, so that's been really useful. So it's not even just uh, the teachers, but particularly for the form tutors for year 11 who've got to start writing their references. I made a activity with a form where the year 11 uh, students had to sort of write what their interests, their activities outside of school and their skills were because we've got a number of new teachers in year 11 who have taken over forms and writing a reference is quite challenging. So they've been able to go on to Morris B, see what the students taken part in because that covers the whole of their year 10 and 11 so far in terms of their um, careers experiences journey. Look at the, um, you know, report, the student report in terms of what the students like um, and their aspirations and also look at the, the students responses to those questions for their references so it's helped with the year 11 tutors to be able to go on and and have a look at that to then be able to write a, a good reference for them for their post 16 options so last question from me kelly um so you've got a number of people on watching this video that probably haven't yet started with compass plus and morrisby what what advice tips would you give to them i'd say that although initially um, and obviously I did do everything retrospectively it it will be a lot of work to get used to the systems and to get used to sort of uploading it now I do have absolutely everything in one place and I feel like um, I feel a lot more prepared for um, justifying senior leadership or to any external people that want to come in and question or query anything about my careers program um, I feel like that obviously it feeds well into the Compass Plus report, which obviously you can then evidence with your with how you're doing well with the Gatsby. But the biggest thing for me is that it's it's student facing. So you're not having to kind of double up or extra share. Um, it's it's right there for the students to see the staff that you want to have access to have access. And there's also an option, which I don't think you mentioned as well, that students can choose the option to tick a bottom at the bottom of Morris B to give their parents limited access so yeah. they can everything like the one-to-one -one interview notes and things like that but they can see the students um sort of aspirations and i've spoken to a few of our parents at the college transfer evening and they've started to sort of it's it helped to re-engage um parents with careers um mm -hmm. so that's that's been really useful as well um so i would say yes the initial setup and getting used to all the things is, is challenging but everything is now in one place and it's really easy for me to kind of look up a student and look up look up what they've done rather than going did they go on that trip as well or trying to cross-reference against a million different spreadsheets and activities and things that have happened brilliant well thank you for your insights kelly and uh handing back to struan
Thank you, Aaron, uh, and thank you, Kelly. And I think what, um, I mean, obviously, Kelly, this is the first time we've chat chatted. And um, I, I had a question, you actually answered, you actually answered it, I think, at, at, the end of, at the end there, which was, um, you, you, when we speak to, uh, to, when we speak to careers leaders, you know, quite often in, in, in a webinar setting, uh, but also, you know, face to face in, in training sessions, um, when we talk about, uh, you know, they talk about, uh, they're already using a, a, a partner system and they say well I know one system you know, how am I going to you know if I take on another system you know how is that going to work for me um so it's great to hear that um that you you got you you got very quickly to a point where your time is being saved by using two you know by using compass plus and Morris be together in that integ integrated way that's really great to hear also as well the fact that um you're using the reporting functionality from both systems. Uh, I mean, that's something that we get we get asked about a lot, um, particularly around you know, providing evidence to SLT around where where um, where career, careers leaders are in uh, in achieving the Gatsby benchmarks, but also obviously just you know justifying um, you, know, you know the resources that are you know going on particular particular activities and where, whether they're providing. Yeah, yeah I'm providing value for money. So that's that's really great and really interesting to hear. So thank you. Okay, um, we're a little bit ahead of time. Um, we're going to move on to to questions now. Um, I'm just looking at the the Q and A box. I can't see anything in there unless it's already been answered. Nicola, has it, has anybody asked any questions yet? Is there any anything? useful for us to for us no, to answer the the not, not there yeah okay all right well what i would say is we, we do have a few minutes left so if you do have any questions please pop them into the q a box and uh alan and and kelly and i will will endeavor to answer them while you're just uh maybe mulling mulling uh that over let's move on to the section the last section where we want you to uh, leave with knowing where to find more help and support. Um, so, Alan, your your sections on to the left of the screen here. Do you want to just have, uh, chat a little bit about um, about the help and support avail available? Also, actually, as well, I know we haven't got it down here, but um, if you want to uh, expand a little about any other training uh, or webinars, for instance, that uh, that Morris we put on, uh, you might want to. Um, explain here. Sure, thank you, Stuart. Well, uh, I mean, Morrisby has a, has a fairly comprehensive support portal at that address, um, but we have a sort of team in, in Hemel Hempstead uh, who are more than happy to take your calls uh, uh, and help you with, with any particular issues you have that they're available on, on support at morrisby.com. And we, from time to time, run, um, you know, one-to-one -one Zoom, Zoom uh, sessions, a bit like the one that I alluded to that we did with Kelly uh, back in June, July. Um, so again, if you want some actual one-to-one -one sort of help uh, over sort of a, a remote call, we're uh, more than happy to do that. So um, contact us through any of those means and we'll be delighted to help. Okay, thank you, Alan. Uh, so on the, on the Compass Plus side, um, it might help actually if I just very briefly demo this because it, it is a, a functional change that we've made recently that uh, if you have been using Compass Plus for a while, um, you might not be aware of. So we're on the, uh, the Compass Plus dashboard screen here. Those of you who've been using the product for a while might remember that we had a, a widget that appeared in, the, uh, appeared in the corner of the screen. So the widget, help widget that would pop up and you could type into that. Uh, it would access uh, our knowledge base. Um, it's around 100 articles there. Uh, the very granular, they take you through every part of functionality in Compass Plus in detail. Most of them have videos. We've made a change to that recently. So rather than that being widget driven, we've brought that into the, uh, the, uh, the primary navigation here on the left of the screen. We now call it the Help Center. So anything you're searching for, um, you can search for in the uh, in the search box here, and it'll uh, find the the article there that I mentioned earlier. It takes you through the upload there. Um, you can browse the help center here on the left. Uh, you can view all the sections if need be, and then we have uh, access to our online training here. There's a couple of uh, modules on how to go about using Compass Plus. There, self service, 
you can access them now. So the key takeaway there is help has changed within Compass Plus. It used to be widgets, now moved in uh, to the primary nav with this dedicated help center. That's obviously in product, as I've just demonstrated, but you can also access that. If, you're, if um, you need to access that for any reason outside the product, you can do uh, the, the URL there. Uh, you might have colleagues, for instance, who are thinking about upgrading to, to Compass Plus, thinking about how you go about using Morrisby, which they might already have. Uh, you know, they've, they've not upgraded maybe from the old version of Compass, Compass Classic. How do they go about using the product together? Well, they can access all that information without actually having to upgrade it yet to, to Compass Plus by going to that URL. Uh, secondly, in terms of support, you see you have access to your enterprise coordinator, and they'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have about um, using Compass Plus generally as part of your work as careers leaders, um, as part of your training as careers leaders, and also how you go about using the partner products together. Any, uh, any more technical questions? So if you, have, if you have any issues at all, any problems at all, um, we recommend that you contact the uh, Compass Plus help desk. You can do that from the help center as well. Go to the help center, there's a link there, or you can email us directly at the, uh, the email address there at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so just checking that we don't have any final questions, Nicola, in the, in the Q&A there. No, still none. Okay, well, if no one has any more questions, uh, I don't know, uh, Alan or Kelly, if you've, you've got any more comments or anything from you, you Nicola? No, I, I, I would just recommend that people uh, give it a go. No, yeah, um, if you have any, any other questions, then um, feel free to share my contact details and, and people can message me. That's not a problem. Brilliant. That's very kind, Kelly. And yeah, just to just I guess just to on, on, on the back of what Alan said there about having a go. I think Kelly said at the beginning of um, at the beginning of uh, her chat there that she started by uh, you know, bringing across a few activities with a few pupils and then put the whole lo you know, put the whole lot in. Again, if you feel that you know it's a useful thing to do to you know take those tentative steps, um, then you know please please do so. And uh, you know, both of our teams, at CC and Morrisby, will be more than happy to help. Indeed. Okay, so I think if there's no more questions, uh, just to wrap up and say thank you all for attending this CC webinar today. Thank you for for Alan uh, for uh, putting together resources today with me and uh, helping run the session. Uh, thanks to Nicola and. Thanks to Kelly for uh, making your time available to chat through how you use both products together. That was really enlightening and uh, uh, a really interesting chat there with Alan. So uh, thanks again for coming. Hope to see you all on a, uh, a CEC Compass Plus or Morrisby uh, training event very soon. Thanks very much Thank and you. good afternoon.